How to set up a payment gateway on Shopify. Easy tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a payment gateway on Shopify to accept payments and more. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to open up your Shopify store. I have opened up my Shopify store that I have. In order to set up your Shopify payments, you will actually have to navigate to the settings at the bottom. Once you click on settings, it will show you all of the different settings that we have for our store. Here, I will get different settings for store details. We have plans, billings, user and permission, and then we have payments right here. Select payments and it will show you all of the different payment methods available on Shopify. You can see on Shopify, we actually have three types of payment methods available. We have payment providers, supported payment methods and manual payment methods. Let's talk about the manual payment methods first. Payments that are made outside your online store. When a customer selects a manual payment method such as cash on delivery, you'll need to approve their order before it can be fulfilled. So this is going to be a manual order system. Here we will be getting our custom payment methods, bank deposit, money order or cash on delivery. So if you want to set up any of these payment methods, you will select option from here. Let's say I want to go for cash on delivery. So you select right here and then you have to enter some additional details displayed to customer when they're choosing a payment method. And then you have to enter a payment instruction displayed to customer after they place an order with this payment method. Click on activate cash on delivery and your manual payment method will be activated on Shopify. So this is the easiest way of a payment method and you will be getting all of the manual payment methods right here. Supported payment methods. Then we have some methods, payment methods that are actually available with once Shopify's approved payment providers. You're going to click on add payment method and it will take you to this window here. You can search for any payment method you are looking for here. You can see we have a bunch of different options available. We have all of the different cards that are available that are supported payment methods on Shopify. We have a MasterCard, uh, American Express, JCP. We have Discover. Um, then we have uh, Pleek, Ideal, Enets, and we have uh, Klarna. Sazzle, Bitcoins, even cryptocurrency can be accepted with Shopify. So we have all of different uh, cryptocurrencies available. Uh, we have credit cards, debit cards, and even third party tools. So these are all of the different methods that are supported by Shopify. Shopify has a huge payment method collection and different integrations that we can add. So it, it becomes really easy for us to integrate any kind of platform or any kind of method that is supported in our country to add to Shopify. So you can see we have WeChat Pay, Samsung Pay, we have Apple Pay, uh, then we have BCA and all of the others. So you can explore by just scrolling down a little bit and selecting the payment method you want to go for. And we can, of course, select more than one payment method. So you can see we have Visa. Uh, let's say I want to go with Visa Card, MasterCard, and then we have American Express, we have Diners Club, JCP. So you can select a bunch of different payment methods to add to your Shopify. And then we have a payment provider. So now this is the option that you can go for to save a lot of time and to actually set up a third party tool to add a payment method. So click on choose a provider. And this is the option that I will be going for today. In a third party payment provider, all you need to do is you can select different payment methods from here as well to just customize your search. Scroll down a little bit to see all of the different supported payment providers. You can see with a payment provider, what happens is we can actually get a lot of supported payment methods in one uh, platform. So for example, we have uh, AirPay available, we have uh, checkout.com, we have ePay and I count. You could just scroll down to see all of the different methods. Keep in mind the methods that you see. Payment methods are going to be the ones that are available in your country and then you can also see the payment methods that are not uh, supported in your country. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here, which is to check out which is available in my country and I will set it up with my Shopify. So here we have to check out. You can see to check out enables you to accept mobile and online payments. So with this, I will be able to accept payments with a Visa card. MasterCard, American Express, JCB, Discover, and Dinos Club. That's, that is actually pretty impressive. And I want to go with all of these different methods. 
So once you have selected the methods, now you need to create an account on that platform. It works for all of the different platforms that you will be using, not just this one. I am using to check out, but even if you're using Klarna, Stripe, Skrill, you will require an account. So here we are and we need to sign up for free. The signing up process is really easy. I'm going to quickly go ahead and sign up for my platform and then we'll just connect it to our Shopify. I have actually signed into my to checkout and we have our dashboard. Now let's get back to our Shopify and Shopify actually shows us the setup instruction as well for the method that we have selected. So you can see we have created an account on checkout. Okay, login and activate. We have done that. Access the integration webhooks and API. Okay, so let's get into it. In your dashboard, you're going to go to the integrations right here and then you're going to click on webhooks and API. Here we have APIs and a secret word, everything that we need. Under API, we have our merchant code and our secret ID. On Shopify, if you scroll down a little bit, you will have to enter your account info and here you have to paste your merchant code. We're going to get back to our uh, to checkout, copy the merchant code and we're going to get back to Shopify and paste our code right here. Okay, now we have secret word. Let's get back to our method. Scroll down a little bit and we have a secret word here. You can see instant notification INS secret word. This is the word that you need. Click on generate and the secret word will be generated. You're going to copy this one. Once it's copied, you're going to click on save. Let's get back to our Shopify and paste it right here. So we have entered our merchant code and secret word that was needed on Shopify. So once you have done this, you're going to scroll down a little bit to the instant notification system INS because right here on Shopify, the next step is generate new INS secret word and paste it. We have done this, save settings in the redirect URL section, check enable return after sale. So we're going to do that. So here we have enable INS. You're going to check this option. Then we're going to scroll down a little bit to redirect URL. You're going to click on enable return after sale. In return method, you're going to select header redirect. This is what you need to do. Keep in mind right here, you have to leave this option blank and select header redirect under return method. Then you're going to click on update and the settings will be updated right here on your method. For return method, select header redirect. Okay, click on save settings. We have already done that. And your payment method will be, as you can see, configuration saved successfully. So what we needed to do here inside our to checkout, it's done. And I can get back to my, you know, Shopify. And you can see we have actually completed all of these 10 steps that were needed in order to save the settings. Uh, we have all of these different payment methods. And now what I can do is I can also uh, enable a test mode, test your to checkout setup by stimulating successful and failed transactions. Uh, for now, I'm not going to enable the test mode, but we have entered our merchant code and our secret word. Click on activate to checkout and your payment method will be activated for me. It's to checkout. It is available with my store for you. You can also go ahead and add any kind of payment method by just following the steps that are given. And now you can see to checkout activated. And now I have a payment method for my Shopify store. This way you can also go ahead and add any kind of payment method, a third party tool or an additional payment method or a manual payment method on Shopify. The link for Shopify is given in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. You will be able to get a free trial with Shopify. Get your own store, sell your products and build your own business on Shopify.